Hey piggies, are you ready to do the Mexican wave? Boom! <laughs> Hey everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another Minecraft Mod Showcase where today we are in a little bit of a strange place. We are actually chilling out in the Obsidian Bunker because Treyarch has come up with a very strange yet extremely destructive little set of gadgets which can summon storms and many more things into your Minecraft world. Now these storms summon huge tornadoes into the world that can rip up the ground beneath you, fling it into the air and destroy everything in its path which is why Treyarch and Grim over here are staying down here below the surface because look we're kind of quite far below the surface this trapdoor is not to be used guys I know Grim won't be able to use it that well but um are you guys going to be okay I hope so I see you brought the um put your fridge down that no one's really allowed to touch so that's good there's nothing in it there's nothing in the fridge whatsoever um okay <laughs> but anyway I'm glad you're going to be able to look after yourselves if you need to go to the toilet Grim I have no idea where you're going to go. I'm sorry, but um, you're going to have to hold it. And guys watching, I am going to meet you up on the surface for some major experimenting. Let's go. Well then guys, welcome to the overworld or the, the top of the world. Anyway, I hope they're going to be okay down there because this is going to be highly destructive. And there's also another few things I want to go through that this mod adds just before we get to the really destructive stuff. Which starts with what you can probably see right now, which is a wind mechanic. Now this water here is just flowing naturally and you can see these little kind of snow particles coming down. And wherever the wind kind of blows, it will blow these in a certain direction. So it's kind of a telltale sign where the wind is blowing. Blowing. And then you may have noticed a moment ago that we've actually got leaves that are falling down from the trees as well Check this out and it shows us that the wind is actually blowing this way right now. So if we listen carefully There we go, that's better. I had to wait for a little bit there The wind is actually blowing it kind of makes like a, a really low dull sound Just make you know or let you know that the wind is blowing in a certain direction So this is kind of a two two really telltale signs where the wind is blowing. It doesn't affect you too much, but it just gives a little bit of atmosphere to your Minecraft world. Now, the next thing it does actually kind of interact with is this. Now, I, I know what you're wondering, why on earth are we looking at this? But look how the waves are moving. This introduces a wave mechanic into your Minecraft world. So if you look at it from the side, you can see that the waves are actually 3D this time. It's not a flat water that we're, in, we're kind of used to in Minecraft. It's actually 3D and goes up and down. And we can make this more extreme with a wave command. So let's go into wave height and set it to an extreme of something like um, 10. And now you can see how the waves work. It's a little bit weird when it gets to this side. Check this out when it gets back over here. Look at that. That is a little bit weird. But this is the wave system. It looks really, really cool. And I think they get more... Um, they get quicker when the wind picks up and stuff like that. But the main thing you can use these waves for is, um, is surfing. Yes, so let's use a surfboard and the surfboard is crafted. It looks like a boat. It needs a texture, but this is a very I mean, it's a work in progress mod So they're updating it all the time and it's getting more incredible each time This actually requires three wood planks of any kind and a stick And then we can place this down here and it will float to the surface right click just like a boat And you'll just sit on it and you can just kind of ride the waves You can't really move anywhere, which is a bit unfortunate, but um, it still looks pretty cool If you could stand on it in the next update, that would be amazing and if you could just move with the waves that would be really really cool but I just saw this a really really awesome and interesting aesthetic piece to this mod that I've never really seen in Minecraft before and pretty much everything in that I'm going to show you in this mod to do with physics and blocks and stuff like that is going to be pretty groundbreaking so let's go with um, back to wave height um, put it around two that's kind of normal actually that's still quite high but anyway that's fine just like that so the next thing we're going to go over is this which is a brand new thing added into this mod and here we go the winds picking up it's blowing the leaves all the way that way look how far they go that's beautiful and now it's changed do you see that oh my god it changed and made it go in like an s shape this is so cool it makes me feel like autumn is here beautiful but anyway as i was saying this is a brand new addition to this mod in the 1.6.4 version and it's called a vector tree where they're trialing kind of like growing a tree better in minecraft so you can actually see the tree growing rather than it just pop up when it's finally finished or decided to um grow so let's put this vector tree down this is the only block it works with at the moment but check this out and watch it grow before your very eyes it takes a little bit of time but that's fair enough because the tree is absolutely huge i'm not sure if they vary in size and shape at all but how are you going to stop this tree is massive Jesus, look how tall this is. How are you even standing up? You're on a tiny stump. 
Oh my god, this is amazing. Look, the leaves are coming off the top. That looks so majestic and so polished and awesome. There we go. I think it stopped now. Have you stopped? There we go. Let's try and put one on top of here. Dare I try it? There we go. Oh, it worked. It worked. I think they're all the same model, so it's kind of a work in progress, but... Look how amazing it looks. It's it's building a tree in front of your very eyes. I think that's incredible. And look at this. A doubly high tree. <laughs> well, I would say that is a ridiculously high tree. Because look, this is a normal Minecraft tree. And by Minecraft standards, that one's pretty big. But check out that one. My god, we're going to have fun with this in a bit. But anyway, now we're going to get on to what you really wanted to see here, which are the tornadoes. And um, some other things that manipulates the ground and blocks and physics of Minecraft to the very extreme. So what we're going to look at first is something called the worm gun and the worm kind of physics. Now this one's a bit weird. So if you take the worm gun, which are all available from the creative inventory, then um, right click and wait a little bit. Something will spawn, which is very strange. Look at this. So these things I'm showing you just before the tornadoes are kind of like um, experiments into block physics and weird stuff like that. And check this out. It's burning the land. Um, and it's kind of like a wispy, strange worm of fire. Um, I guess that's the only way to explain it. And it kind of just goes along and drops pieces of itself along a diagonal plate. So you saw the worm was the longest over at this side. And then it got shorter and shorter until it landed down here. And it's setting fire to everything. Look how quick that is spreading. Jesus. Wow, so that is probably the least impressive but still pretty damn cool of the mod. And then we can move on to the shockwave item, which is a really cool one. So if we right click on the ground a few times, look at that. It kind of makes like, imagine in a superhero movie when a superhero is flying through the air and smashes into the ground. This is the kind of thing you get. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> that chicken went flying. I'm doing that again. Come here, sheep. They're still on a sheep. Oh my god. I found my new favorite toy. Check this out. Oh my god. It actually works on water as well, which is a bit strange. But look at those block physics. It's, it's actually really impressive. Look at this. Yes, I am so happy that you can fling chickens in the air. <laughs> and they kind of float down to the bottom. That is... That, that is interesting, fun, and pretty amazing by Minecraft standards. Check that out. That is cool, but we've got to move on. I'm having too much fun with this. So let's move on to the drill item. Now, this one is pretty crazy. This one actually makes a proper drilling effect into your Minecraft world. So point down or kind of diagonally across, and you'll be able to see this amazing effect. Are you ready for this? Let's go. Look at this. It kind of flings all the blocks into the air while digging a massive hole. Oh, look, a ravine, which is pretty handy. And then it flings all the blocks over here and actually makes a pile of the blocks that have transported from here so you've got iron in there which is transferred to up there this is crazy absolutely crazy let's let's check it out so there's nothing here there's just pumpkins let's drill into there and see where they land oh those ones are going far oh my god that one went a bit strange because i went it diagonal so let's try it again let's do it downwards this time it works a little bit better downwards but um it looks pretty fantastic either way and there you go there's the pile of blocks some fell down there and i'm going to do a diagonal one just once more once more because it's just amazing check this out i love how far it flies it look it's all the way over there that is incredible all the ores go with it and everything and makes these giant holes perfect for mining and finding new things absolutely incredible so now you've seen all the experimental things which i must stress are really really clever pieces of coding it gets even better with the tornadoes now there are five different strengths of tornadoes and i think every um i think it's every 10 days that has a one in 20 chance of a tornado spawning and then there's five different strengths of tornadoes so the first one we're going to look at is a strength one tornado and this is what the tornado gun will produce and then we're going to use commands to make bigger ones so we're going to look at the smallest and then the biggest so this this one is the smallest one and I think possibly the most impressive so are you ready for this I don't know if you're ready for this I hope Treros and Grim are okay down there they're probably gonna hear this one And um, actually, that reminds me, I've forgotten something. I need to show you this tornado siren. Now, this is something you can use in your Minecraft world to warn you of when a tornado is coming and to kind of evacuate the area, get into your underground base, whatever, because they don't dig too far down. Um, and you can make this, because as I said earlier, they are random. There's a 1 in 20 chance every 10 days, which is crazy. And the first thing you need is a tornado sensor. To craft that, you need 4 iron, 2 redstone, and a gold ingot. And then you put that in the middle, surrounded by iron, and redstone and you will get a tornado siren now when you place this down and a tornado oh jesus oh jesus what no there's not a tornado surely not but anyway um I, I i really is there really a tornado coming 
Um, but anyway, that is the ridiculous sound that it will make. It's stupidly loud, but um, it actually had a chance to demonstrate itself before a tornado even came here. That is so flipping loud. Anyway, that is a tornado siren. You can get out of here because you're so loud. And now we're going to go and look at an actual tornado. So let's do it. Let's fire this tornado down. This is a strength one tornado. Let's go. Here we go. And look, the particle effects. The wind is building up. The, everything just gets sucked into this mass of dust. Now I'm just going to go into F1 so you can see it properly. All of the entities are getting flung around. This sheep is going to die. Oh my god. And then the most impressive thing about this is it actually drags blocks from the ground swirls them around and has pretty much the color of whatever block is beneath it below it so it's just dragged up some dirt and stone which makes it gray and brown and i don't know if you noticed but when it went across the water it actually went blue at the bottom which is pretty crazy now it's picking up all these things flinging them around there's a bit of blue in there because it just went over the water and look at this trail it would actually fling these blocks down as well so you can see random blocks just um splattered around there's some dirt down there the trees have been demolished it's still going as well and it looks pretty insane at night as well that looks that looks awesome look at this imagine this coming towards your minecraft house though you won't be um too happy will you it's gonna absolutely destroy it what i find really funny oh god the pig just passed away this friend is just like no a minute ago we were eating grass but now you're dead and they're getting pulled towards it as well so when this one is finished i'm not sure how well that was close wow <laughs> i'm not sure when this is going to finish but when it does we're going to go into game mode zero and try it out because when you're near one of these massive tornadoes you do get sucked towards it because the wind is so strong this one has actually changed past because the wind speed and direction has changed so if you think it's gone past your house you still might be in danger look at all these animals oh my god it's turning into an animal tornado Oh my god, <laughs> everything is getting sucked up into the middle and look how, oh my god, look how incredible it is. Let's go into the middle of it. It's so insane. I don't know how they even coded this. Look, this is the center. It's, it's pretty mad, I must admit. Let's go down to the bottom actually and go into game mode zero quickly and just show what happens when you are near a um, tornado. Uh, game mode zero and look we're getting sucked towards it i am not pressing anything right now and i think it's just disapparated it's gone everything returns to normal look at these blocks they're gonna fall to the ground and just place themselves down oh my god are the chickens are just gonna float to the ground because they're gonna take ages look these blocks are just oh my god it's so amazing it really is incredible now what we're gonna do is spawn in a tornado size five Bear in mind, that was a tornado size 1, and I'm going to go into game mode, um, I'm going to stay in game mode 0 and see what happens. I will probably die, but it's going to be funny. So let's go into WM, and then you want to spawn tornado, if I can spell it properly, and then we're going to put 5, and this is the biggest tornado you can get in this mod. Let's go. Oh Jesus, look at the build up for it. The clouds are huge. Oh no, it's so big. Oh crap. Things from here are getting dragged into it. Oh my god, the water as well. The trees, it goes green when it brings up trees. The waves are starting to get a bit aggravated as well. I don't know if it's coming over here or not. Let's see. Let's go over to here and see if we can start getting sucked towards it. Oh yeah, it's happening. It's happening. I'm getting sucked towards it. Look how fast I'm going. Oh Jesus, this is bad. Let me get out. Let me get out. Oh god. So you can see it's kind of less destructive. Oh Jesus. No, no, no. <laughs> I should not have jumped then. Um, let me out of here. Let me out of here, block. Oh, God. No, this is bad. Um, as I was just about to say, you can see it's kind of less destructive to the ground, but it kind of flings all the blocks around it and then just spins them around in this epic vortex of wind and just destroys stuff. So, arguably, the other one is a little bit more destructive, making the path, but this one is going to take all of your blocks from everywhere. Look, it's actually ripping them from the landscape. It is so insane. How's our tree getting on? Oh, it's half dead. Um, half of it is gone. The top's gone from here. It's doing okay, considering it's the tallest piece here, but look, there's sand been placed even on the top of this tree. This is so insane, and I love this mod so much because it's, it adds that real element of danger and uncertainty to Minecraft. I don't know if I have the guts to play with this mod, though. One tornado possibility, one in 20 every 10 days. That, that scares me a little bit, but it's still kind of amazing. Check this out. Oh my god, the blocks, just it just amazes me how the blocks just fly around the tornado and look so epic. 
I love it. It's awesome. Now, I don't know if I've got time to show you another tornado, so you go ahead and try the different types. This one's obviously less destructive at the bottom and more for the blocks around it. It actually spends longer in the vicinity of you as well, so it doesn't really move. It just destroys all the area around it. And the first one we saw moves a lot more, but destroys more of the stuff below and kind of in a close proximity around it. This ice, how does that even work, dragging ice from over there? I don't even know. But anyway, that has been pretty much the Tornadoes mod. And if you like what you see and do want to play it for yourself, then please do go to the description below and check it out. Um, it's really impressive and really fun to just hop into creative mode and try out all the storms, let you know what you're getting yourself in for, and then maybe risk playing survival with it i don't know i'm gonna go back and check on trails and grim hopefully they're okay in the obsidian bunker i think it's gonna be okay because you can see that a bunker would be okay because it only really goes down about um, maybe 10 blocks maximum if that about four or five 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 to ten i guess and you should be okay that one's properly moved along now but look at this they're raining down from every... Look how far they've gone. Oh, Jesus. But anyway, I could go on for ages about this mod. It's seriously impressive. So go and check it out. If you happen to be new to the channel, then please do subscribe to join Team TDM today for daily Minecraft videos. And if you did enjoy the video, then please do leave a like. It'll be greatly appreciated. If we can get to 10,000 likes for these amazing storms, then that'll be greatly appreciated. I'm sorry, sheep. I didn't mean to do that to you. I'm really, really sorry. But anyway, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Thanks for all the support recently. It's been amazing, and I will see you all next time. Good luck in your storm chasing. Goodbye! <laughs>